Black Mass is a new movie by Scott Cooper. It's a gangster film. It's 1975. Johnny Depp plays Jimmy Whitey Bulger, the biggest kingpin informant from Southie Boston, who ran things for, for close to 20 years, I believe. And, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. He's an informant. It's, it was the inspiration for Frank Costello and The Departed. Let's not waste any time. Let's talk about the positives and the negatives. All right, number one, positives. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp is amazing. I don't know how else to put it this way. He gives probably what is going to be an Oscar-worthy performance in this film. It's, it's scary at times, but then he's also charming. And then he flips the switch and he beats the hell out of somebody, and you're just on the edge of your seat kind of looking at this guy like, like you're looking at uh, Hannibal Lecter because you never know when that switch is just going to flip. And you don't really see Johnny Depp. You know, you, you can you can actually look at all the makeup with the hair and the, and the tooth and the, the blue eyes, and this could have easily have fallen apart, but Johnny Depp brings his A-game, he's unrecognizable, he acts through it, he does something he hasn't done in years. He acts. <laughs> no, seriously, if you watch Transcendence, you're like, this guy is phoning it in. If you watch The Lone Ranger, you're like, he's not even trying. He's just being a pirate. He's making kids' movies for his kids. I get it, but I don't like it. This movie, he goes back to Donnie Brasco and Blow and different type of dramas where he's actually digging deep and he's pulling something out and it could be an Oscar. We'll see. But um, it is the de definitely, hands down, the best part about this film because the problem I have with this film is even though we have Johnny Depp and a great cast, um, Joel Edgerton, um, Benedict Cumberbatch, um, Kevin Bacon, they all give great performances in this movie and it really rounds it out to make it a nice ensemble piece. The problem with this movie is little things like pacing. Pacing is one. It's shot great. It's beautifully shot. It's 1975. You know, everything's authentic from the cars to the locations and everything. The sets look great. You know, the, the way it's directed, the shot, the wide shots and, and the pants, everything is done really well, but the pacing is slow. The story is a little bit shallow when it comes to actually having any heart to it. It's kind of just empty. You know, it's, 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 there's tons of these interviews that inter intertwine the whole movie. And you could tell what they did is that they took all of the interrogations from, you know, current day or around the trial time. And they used that as the inspiration for the movie. The problem with that is that it's all as a matter of fact. You don't have a, a core heart to the film. You're not really backing any protagonist. You're not really rooting for or against anybody. You're really just watching these events unfold. So when people die, you really don't care. When people are in trouble, you don't care. It's kind of just like, well, uh, okay, he's, he's a bad guy, and that was a bad guy, and they're all bad guys. So bad stuff happens to bad guys, right? But, uh, but I think what this movie really could have needed was like every... Every gangster movie, every TV show, anything like this always has like that one character, maybe two, where like they're an innocent. And they're kind of the viewfinder for it. Like Breaking Bad had Jesse Pinkman. And yeah, does he cry a lot? Is he kind of a, a whiny little wimp and you kind of just want to smack him? Of course he is. But he was the heart of the show. This had none of that. So like when bad things happen to these people who kind of had it coming, you're like, well, yeah. And don't get me wrong, um, they could have done more with it. There were some characters that could have very easily have been, you know, the viewfinder. Like, he does have a girlfriend slash baby mama, and this person could have been the person that kind of brought an emotional accord to it, but not really. There's no love interest in this movie at all. Um, better movies did have that. You know, Goodfellas had that. The Departed definitely had that. Um, State of Grace had that. This movie... He's really just a sociopath, so since you can't really relate to somebody who has no conscience, there are certain times in this film where you're just like, okay, well now he's just beating the shit out of somebody else. Which is interesting, but a lot of times you kind of feel like you want the movie to do more than it actually does. This movie could have been an ultimate, you know, classic with the likes of Scarface and Goodfellas and The Departed, and it just falls a little bit flat of that. With that said, though, I love the movie. I thought Johnny Depp was great. I thought Joel Edgerton is continuing to be a great actor. I thought he was great in The Gift and, and almost as good in this. Um, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, always amazing, even though he was a little bit underplayed and he was trying really hard to do an American accent and he kind of sounded like JFK a little bit. Um, but like I said, it's a, it's a very cliched gangster movie and there's nothing overly original about it. 
And the biggest flaw I have with this movie is that it feels so much like, like even the cops who did the investigation, I feel like they made the movie. Because it's very one-sided in, in, in just showing this guy who he is, and there's no emotional core to it. In no way does it glamorize the violence of, of you know, the way Goodfellas or previous movies have. It's just, it's just, you know, one, two, three, four, five. And Johnny Depp does give a great performance, but the script kind of feels a little bloated, and it just, it kind of just lacks that, that spark. I mean, I did like the movie, I liked the movie a lot. But you know what, when I walked out, I said, what's my favorite part? And, yeah. <laughs> um, I would definitely red box this movie. I thought it was a lot of fun the first time around. I'm not rushing out to go see it again, but check it out. I think you might definitely enjoy it if you like Johnny Depp's earlier films. If you like gangster films, you gotta love gangster films. If you don't like gangster films, you're probably not gonna like this at all because it's, it's not for everybody. It really is for like the genre of people who love these type of genre films. American Hustle, The Departed, Goodfellas. So go check it out. I give this movie a B. Anyway, guys, let me know what you thought about it, and be sure to comment down below, and as always, thank you so much for watching, because you just got burned.